Right now I'm watching a dog poo and it actually looks like how some people deadlift. What's up YouTube perverts? Welcome back to another episode of AM Training. It is week 6 of the TSA program and I don't know if I could call it the TSA program with me changing out the squats for Bulgarian squats. And now I've talked about this before with the last two videos being pretty much all about back pain. Um, so let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about uh, my bulking. So bulking, I'm doing a little mini bulk right now. I was down from 192, now I'm up to about 200 or so. Sometimes I feel like Oprah because I'll go up as high as 205 and then I'll come back down as low as like 190 because I get tired of eating. Right now I'm watching a dog poo and it actually looks like how some people deadlift. So yeah, this mini bulk is going pretty well. I mean, I pretty much have breakfast, lunch, dinner for about 1,000 calories each with about 1,000 calories worth of snacks in between. So you're looking at about 35 to 4,000 calories. I usually don't count my calories and, you know, all my macros just because, you know, I've, I've been doing this for like 10 years with bulking up from 100 pounds. Um, so yeah, pr this morning I pretty much had cinnamon toast crunch with a bunch of smuckers and pre-workout so I don't really have pre I don't usually use pre-workout Monday I had my homemade pre-workout now that was pretty damn good I felt like I could have doubled all of my reps bench press felt really great you saw I did like 225 close grip for five times five I've never done that before so it felt like a like butter now with my homemade pre-workout I was waiting for this to come in this is pre-gym by Jim JYM and uh, this is supposed to be like one of the best pre-workouts out there because it has all the correct dosage. Now, I'm the last person you should ask about supplements because I don't like to lose my money on them um, because I feel like, you know, I've made it this far without supplements. I feel like I can continue to keep going uh, without them, but it's just a nice little kick in the ass with pre-workout. I had to get it from bodybuilding.com. So the flavor doesn't really taste like orange mango. It reminds me of like a blood orange grapefruit kind of uh, uh, taste because it's really tangy. I, I'm guessing that's the six grams of the citrulline malate because that stuff is really tangy and it's making me salivate. All right, so let's end this commentary here with squats and overhead press.
All right, Pervers, you saw the last two days of week six of the TSA program. Again, this is my second cycle of the TSA program, and I'm pretty damn happy with the last two days because I got to finally do squats after doing pretty much two weeks of Bulgarian squats. My back is feeling pretty dang good, maybe a one out of 10 pain, and also on the deadlift, it was a zero out of 10 pain, so I was pretty happy that I'm finally squatting. It felt decent. I was really afraid that after, you know, taking about two weeks off of squatting, that I was gonna feel like get pinned under the bar uh, felt decent and then all, like I said the deadlift zero out of ten pain I was actually kind of laughing and smiling in the middle of sets because I was just kind of amazed that you know um, that it just went up giggity goo all right, so I know you fitness people love to watch people eat, and of course I am currently doing a little mini bulk. Uh, so right now I'm currently at maybe 201 uh, pounds right now, 202 will kind of fluctuates up and down depending on if I had a good morning of going to the crapper. <laughs> so one example of food that I've been eating is Filipino spaghetti. Of course, all my Filipino subscribers are like, hell yeah, hot dogs and spaghetti. That's what I'm talking about. And give me a thumbs up, of course, for that, even if you are not Filipino and you're digging my hot dog spaghetti. Now I know you guys like to watch people eat, so unfortunately I did not get that, but you're in luck. This is a bonus here, right here. You get to see me drink some goddamn Gatorade. Alright guys, so I think I told you that I was on a, like a little mini bulk, I'm not really going crazy with the bulk, but uh, trying to constantly gain weight in a nice slow process without actually trying to hate food because I don't know if you guys ever bulked up before, but uh, when you're on a constant, you know, eating every two hours, you're kind of, you're starting to hate food, I know, it's really crazy. So one of the things that has helped me is, boom, what the heck is this, it looks like uh, cocaine, but it is actually Muddy Buddies. So the cool thing about this is that I made this. You can put your own spin on it. It's pretty easy to make. You just combine the chocolate, the peanut butter, the butter, and you just pretty much mix that all together and then just pretty much coat the checks. Now the cool thing is when you make it homemade, not only is it cheaper, but you can actually put your own little finishing touch. Now I love Nutella. It, Nutella is like my spirit animal and so you can pretty much add as much as you want of Nutella to give it a nice little Nutella taste. Alright, so let's end the video off there. Train hard, train smart, go make yourself some spaghetti with hot dogs. One side of me says, you know, keep pushing. The other side says, you know, don't be a dumbass. So you really have to balance out of being, you know, training hard and training smart. What? Shameless plug. So yeah, it's really depressing because when you're seeing guys, some of my friends there, you know, I used to, I beat them in the squat before with, you know, 500 for a double. And now they're like freaking doing 